man, I can't believe I've got that many more to go. Talk about that here in just a little bit. Uh, but our send off Pat celebration week does continue. I really thought I was going to get all the deliveries that I had filmed shared with you guys this week. There's just no, I, I'm not going to get it done, but we'll talk about those folks that will be coming up in a future upload on this channel. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate the support. And when I say that, I truly mean I appreciate the support because I'm hearing of some pretty negative and nasty comments uh, that I'm getting in text and email and other places. And I'm like, you know, about our channel. I'm like, really? I thought we had something. I still do. We have something very unique and very special on this channel. You know, I share what I do for a living, representing Corvette. I share you guys and your love and passion for the car, your experiences. We talk about this car and the marketplace so you have a better understanding of really what's going on. And we do it in a fun manner, sometimes a little silly, different, but very direct, concise, good information. I was just shocked to hear, to hear some of those comments, man. I just just blows me away. I, I do this channel because I want to, not because I have to. And if you don't know, I'm not going to go into detail, but I am spread incredibly thin, uh, no help, doing really truly all I can. And am I getting to everything? I'm not. Sorry, guy. I just I'm not, and I'm trying. I mean, it's it is uh, really overwhelming. I just was really, I guess because I take this so serious, I, I shouldn't even acknowledge it, but I let that crap bother me, man, and it shouldn't because there's so many of you that have been so good to us, and I just love you guys. So, whatever. So, you know, it's your prerogative. You don't have to watch. I mean, that's fine. You don't have to enjoy what we're doing. That's fine. And I don't have to listen to you either. <laughs> so, those of you that are uh, still here, welcome. Yeah, the Send Off Pat Celebration Week does continue and talk about some of those other folks I just mentioned at the top of today's show that I'm really, really bummed. Uh, I was so determined to get all these people in this week and I'm like, wow, uh, I'm excited to have these opportunities to share with you and to share their moments. So today, uh, we're going to try and get four on the show for you today. Three cars actually ship out and then one guy comes here and picks up his car. Now, Brent is a guy that was one of the people that ordered a 2020 with us and didn't get it. So we prioritized that order to get him to the front of the line and I just thought that was the, the right thing to do. But I'm hearing that not all dealers are doing that. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, you ordered it? Oh, you did order a 2020 with us. Hmm, okay, well, you needed to come into the dealership and spin the big prize wheel for an opportunity to get an allocation. Tick, 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 Sorry. Hey, thanks for playing. See you next year. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's the kind of crap that is going on out there. I'm going to do a viewer mail segment, too. Just a lot of promotion stuff before we get started. Sorry. Uh, viewer mail segment next week that I'm going to be reading some emails and I'm seeing some really crazy stuff going on in the current marketplace with this card. I'm, I'm sorry to see that happening. And just some nice emails and good feedback and good stories. So I'll enjoy just sitting here. I'll probably just sit here. I really enjoy just kind of sitting on this couch with you guys. So I'll probably sit here and just read some of those emails with you. Again, just sharing stuff uh, in my day representing you guys and, and this car. All right. Hope you enjoyed today's upload. Here is Brent from Illinois, who is he's my kind of guy. He's a veteran and he loves Corvette, and he's now got one. That's right, when it's this cold, I'm not bashful. I'm putting on the earmuffs. Oh my goodness, beautiful day, uh, but man, it is cold, and Brent is in his car. Uh, he's real excited, he's been waiting patiently. I've loaded one, got two more to go. Those three are waiting to go on the truck. You'll see that here in just a moment, so uh, just because it's all, I, I knew it was going to happen, man. Everything's happening at once. So we're backed up just a little bit. I appreciate his understanding. We'll be talking to Brent just a little bit. Uh, and something that I did in his car, I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our Corvette channel. Going to move a little faster today than we normally do. Hey, what's happening? You guys recognize him, don't you? That's <laughs> Ernie. What's happening, man? He's the guy that let us go in the car, inside his truck, when we delivered that car to Dennis. He's got three now going to Florida. Now, this one right here, to acknowledge, 
It's our friend, our customer, Gary Courtney, uh, from here in Ohio, but also has a home in Florida, and that's where this car is going. Sorry if it's hard for me to talk, and it's so cold, my lips are frozen, so sorry. Hey, Gary, I was hoping you were gonna be here so we can go through this. I know you were quandering if you were gonna do museum delivery and all that, so now here it is, uh, January. We were extremely busy. We're not even into vet season yet, and I can't keep up. This is pretty cool. It's exciting to see this all finally happening. Gary, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for the business opportunity again. In the sun, we gotta give you a send off. Pat, sir, congratulations. I know, I know you're gonna love this thing. What, my hand's right here? Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys are so funny. All right, we rub that wing. He waited forever for side rocker extensions, splash guards. <sighs> They're around the car. Crazy, huh? Should have had this car already. But thanks for the understanding and thank you again. All right, and behind me, kind of blocking the road, we'll get this lined up. This is Steven from Michigan, also going to his home in Florida. Beautiful 21. We'll get it to send off Pat here in just a second. Yeah, Brent said, screw it. I'm not waiting for Rick. I'm putting the top down. <laughs> hey, man, so sorry for the wait. Yeah, no uh, we're getting there. I'm going to get uh, some of your paperwork started here in a second. I can't wait to spend some time with you in the car, and i got to tell you something that I did in your car, and I hope you don't mind. Okay. I sat in your car and was just dreaming about my car. <laughs> I know, I know. Right? <laughs> I was like, okay, I can get used to this tension blue interior, man. I like it. Yeah. Actually, I love it. So. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really is. Did you see Rapid Blue before you'd order this? Uh, you mean in person? No. Yeah, no. No. Wow. Leap of faith there, bro. Well, my wife really liked the color, so, you know, there's kind of a, a trade-off. You know, she says you should get the car that you always, have always wanted, and and I was like, well, I'm kind of up between two colors, and I knew she always liked this color. So, oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And that's Colleen, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and I know she's working right now. She's yeah. in the medical field, yeah. working extremely hard. Colleen, sorry you couldn't be here with us, but thank you for the business, and thanks for your support, too, man. I really appreciate that. You guys have been awesome. Think how long you actually waited. Yeah. August 2019. I okay, I, I was. Yeah, you're close to a year and a half. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You were one of our carryover yep. orders from yep. 2020. Yes, yep. I am. And as promised, as not all dealers did, but you guys that waited and didn't get because of the cut and the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, put you in the front of the line for the 2021s. So that's what you guys are looking at right now. We'll get this thing out in the sun here in just a little bit. But right now, uh, more time to do the vlog. We got to get his paperwork done. I still got those cars to do send offs out back in. It is, uh, it's Corvette, baby. Yeah, this feels good, man. This feels good. We're not on a vlog going, oh, I'm waiting for this and I'm waiting for that. I don't know about this. No, man, it's happening right now in front of your face. And I'm moving a little faster than I normally do only because our customer Brent from Illinois that you'll see in this vlog has been waiting to take delivery of his rapid blue car. But this is the car. When I showed you guys some of those new screens and so forth, this is Steve's car. And real quick while we're waiting on Ernie, just gotta tell you a quick story. I mean, he bought a car from us before. I mentioned he is a past customer. That, that loyalty truly means a lot to me, guys. Thank you so much. But what he did with his existing Corvette, didn't sell it, didn't trade it. Gave it to his son and his daughter-in-law, and they were elated. In fact, there, was, uh, there were some tears. They couldn't believe it. They're like, wow, you guys know that are watching. And for those of you that don't know, and that's why I'm telling you the emotion around this car is so significant it is so special and for me it's awesome to be a part of it so steve thanks for telling me that uh, happy for your kids or for your son and for your daughter-in-law rather that they're getting your car and it's staying in the family and it means so much to them that's that's what makes it really cool when you're in a position to do that and steve said he's had a lot of nice cars i mean he's had i'm not going to list them but he's had some really high level cars he is more excited about this car, I think, isn't that what you said? He goes, yeah, he goes, I'm more excited about the C8, I think, than any other car that I've ever bought. Wait till you drive it, buddy. Wait till you drive it.
the driver's still waiting to load up those other cars that we've been showing you going back and forth while Brent has been so kind uh, to wait. Not only almost a year and a half as we were just discussing outside, but he's waiting an hour and a half just to get in to pay for the darn thing. But here's what's really cool, and I'm glad you told me this. And I know that they watch. They don't acknowledge that they watch, but Taj and Harlan from Team Corvette, guess what Brent was about to buy before he bought the Corvette? A Tesla. So, hey, chalk up another win for you guys. Nice job. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah. The other cool thing I always love to acknowledge, as you saw around my office from up there, stuff over here from Dozer, just the respect that I have for police, for military. You were a, uh, I mean, you retired yes. from Army. You were in the Army for how long? Uh, 21 and a half years. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's great. Yeah. Thanks for the service, dude. Thank you. That's fantastic. And he, you got to show me. Where's your folder at? You got to show everybody oh. that plate. He goes, I thought you'd get a kick out of this. And I said, yeah, we got to share this on the vlog. Yeah, I couldn't get the license plate in time. Because your, your wife is an RN. My, my wife's a nurse. And you are a veteran. Yeah. So look at this. Got to be one of the most creative plates I've seen yet. He's uh, requested it for Illinois. So that's why he's got a paper printout. But it's veteran, which is for him. And it's also on a vet. And there's his wife, RN. Yeah. Dude. That was my wife. She, that Did she come up with that? She came up with this. Oh, way to go, Colleen. So. Thanks. And thanks for watching the channel and stuff, too. I know you watch. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it was just exciting. I remember when we talked on the phone and we got to the point that we were actually finalizing the order. This is really happening. So here it is, man. And yeah. I'll tell you, it's sunny out today, so we can really show off your car. Let me tell you something. It's the first time we've seen the sun in two weeks. <laughs> I'm like, it's two weeks, man, since we've seen yeah, the sun. You get our weather, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So more to come. We're going to show you some pictures of the car, the spec of the car. We're going to do the send-off pat, all the fun stuff we like to do with Corvette people on this Corvette channel. See that backpack. Look at this. That's the real deal right there, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. He's getting ready to roll. Colleen said he had to play this song as he rolled out. Who's playing right now? Uh, Tesla, getting better every day. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations to both of you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for letting me dream sitting inside your car just for a little bit, about three <laughs> months away from me, but uh, it's getting close after 20 some years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this probably won't make the video, but we're doing it anyways. The YouTube's a little funky on it. That's all I need. All right, I guess I'm doing a send-off, Pat. All right, well, let me take my jacket off. Okay, you got it. Thank you. What a blast, finally meeting you. Congratulations, thanks for the business, Brent and Colleen. I know she wanted to be here. Your car looks fantastic. Thank you, Rick. You bet, man. Have a good, safe drive, bro. I'll talk to you soon. Got a little send-off, Pat, for Brent and Colleen going just south of Chicago. And yes, we if you can see it, and we're gonna rub that wing. <laughs> look at that rapid blue, you guys. Just look at that rapid blue. Wow. Now you guys are seeing the edited version, but this process has taken hours. We've had multiple customers in the showroom for their scheduled deliveries that didn't go on schedule. So uh, Brent earlier, thank you so much for that. I got another client in there right now. They're not really into the YouTube thing, so we're not gonna share that with you guys. But I'm actually, I'm actually to the point where I can give these last two cars that are going to Florida send off pats. Because it is a thing, right? Yeah. Steve, thanks so much. I'm looking forward to talking to you about this car, especially, as we said earlier, all the nice Heinlein cars that you've had. Hey, welcome to an American exotic, your mid-engine hardtop convertible Corvette. And Steve, what do I say, Michigan or Florida? I, both. <laughs> Give you a send off, Pat, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate all your support. Love the conversations that we had. I'm talking here. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I love the conversations that we had, and I really appreciate your kind feedback. Mark, now, if you guys are in New York, I forget what part of New York, White Pine, the bagel guy, this 
is the Bagel Guys Corvette. Let's show you some pictures and a spec. I didn't have as much sun as I have now when I took these pictures, but either way, this car looks fantastic. And actually, before I show you the pictures and the spec of Mark's car, I'm gonna stand back a little bit because a lot of times on camera, you guys say, is that orange or is that torch red? Well, that's torch red and that's Sebring orange. Here, now you can see the differences. Mark, beautiful car. Thank you so much. Had a chance to meet you when you were here in Ohio. Congratulations, sir. This is going to your home in Florida, and we have a send-off pack for you, sir. Thank you so much. Boys, that thing look hot. You are going to be the rock star in your neighborhood. I just know it. I just know it. And our buddy Ernie is working hard over there to get these on the truck, and they'll be in Florida before you know it. Before this vlog airs, they'll be in Florida, so <laughs> again, more real-time conversation takes so long sometimes when we film these to get them online and I try to break it up a little bit for you guys so you don't have always the same thing. But well, I hope you guys had some fun today and did enjoy this upload. I love sharing the cars. I think somebody had asked yesterday, hey, Rick, do you have any Sebring Orange on the send-offs? Well, we had one there for you today. Hope you enjoyed seeing that. And I'm glad that it was, glad that it was sunny when we shipped that car because the sun just makes that orange just Ooh, just pop. Oh, speaking of which, I think we have, and I looked at the footage, and it was just so nonchalant, nothing produced, just a conversation uh, in the right lighting and a little bit different lighting. I think we have the best review of the new Red Mist car coming up for you next week on the channel. So make sure you check that out. Probably put that up on Tuesday for you guys. So some of the people I did not have an opportunity to share this week in our Send Off Pat Celebration Week, uh, Jim from San Antonio, uh, Carl, who I did business with some 20 years ago, and his little kid is now <laughs> this big in, into cars and racing. That's pretty cool. Uh, Curtis from Kentucky. Uh, Taylor from Washington flew in and picked up a car and drove it to his dad in Florida. And then I've got some National Corvette Museum acknowledgments. Uh, Keith in Texas, Fred in Missouri, Guy in Missouri, Mike and Heather in Wisconsin, Chuck and Sandy next week. They're picking up their car uh, from Arizona. And then some future send-offs. Uh, sending out one today, as a matter of fact. Tom in Colorado. Uh, we've got Jim in Washington, John in California, David and Kathy in Texas. Then I have another Jim going to Washington and Ed in Illinois. And then I have, I know how I want to talk about it on the channel, but I'm trying to do it in a manner in which I'm not going to lose my job. I'm talking about the other Jim in Washington and my past customer, Ed, in Illinois. Well, Jim's a past customer, too. And the situation that is brewing on that, <sighs> I don't even, okay, I'm not going to act like I don't know how I want to talk about it. Believe me, I'm, I am, when I said the other day there's a firecracker situation, those are my firecracker situation. And what's happening with these customers is extremely unfair and embarrassing. And in all my years, I've never been more, where's my handcuffs when I need them? I really have never been more freaking handcuffed. And you guys can tell I'm, I'm, I'm really pissed. And, and and I'm at a loss for words of why this is happening. I know the excuses that everybody's making and I'm tired of hearing it. I don't want excuses, I want results. And especially for these guys, I always stick up for you guys. And right now, um, ah, I've opened the can of worms. We, we will have to talk about this next week. I just have to do it. I have to do it in the right way because because if I do it very candidly, Corvette Conti style, it will be my last vlog. <laughs> it's like, wow, Rick must be pretty mad. I am. 
<laughs> Tomorrow, we've got a fun show for you. Got a delivery, some how-tos, all that on our Coffee with Conti show. That's tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks for watching today.